Hi, I'm Robert and this is Patty and we're with Red Giant Van and this is a tour of our 2021 Ram Promaster 3500 Extended. So outside we have our, our screen that we did. This is our drop down table. This down here is our game cabinet. We store some games for playing on the, on the road. Our um, shore power, a Fury on 30 amp. This is the garage area. So here I act as my storage for uh, like a mallet, and I have my water hose in here, and I also have some propane. Uh, here's just some uh, water. This is our um, pre filter, and then we also have some spare filters for our uh, inside the house system. Over here, this is where we set up our laundry bag. I've taken it down now, it's kind of windy out here. I normally it'll sit just right here. And our dirty clothes go in here. This is our bug screen. We're still working on this. Um, I gotta size it so that it, it fits the correct length. Uh, this is our collapsible ladder. We have this pull-out uh, 500 pound slides. And then here in the back we store um, chairs, our table legs, and then this is a moonshade. And then we also have a walking stick, like my gray water drain. This is where we mount our e-bikes. So these are folders. So mine go on this side and hers is on this side. And it compacts just nicely to fit underneath the bed. That's why the bed is as high as it is, so that the e-bikes will fit in there. Over here is storage for my telescope. It's not in there right now, but that's my holder for it to keep it in, from moving around. This is our uh, outdoor shower. This is a cold only shower. It doesn't have hot water running to it. Uh, hot water is inside the van. This is the access port for our water. We have a sure fill pump and then an accumulator and everything done with Propex and Hoopinor type fittings. And then we have a um, 28 gallon over the wheel well fresh water. And then underneath the van I have a 15 gallon gray water tank. This is our drain for the water if you ever need to drain it. On this side, that's my uh, AC panel. 120 volt, I have three circuits. Uh, I have a fan there for cooling, and then this area up here, this is just storage for electrical cords and surge protector and some extra tools in case we need them. Up here, these are for charging the bikes. So I, I have one on that side, one on this side, and then they just charge while the bikes are parked inside the garage. We have lights inside. So this is our electrical system. This is a Victron system mostly. This is our multi-plus uh, inverter, 3000 watt. Uh, this is our power on, off. Blue C, DC distribution panel. Our, uh, MPPT 50 amp charger, dual Orion uh, 30 amp chargers. And this is the Lynx distributors. Inside here there are three 200 amp hour Victron batteries. This is my solar disconnect right here. And in the back, I have a Turbo GX. So this is our 700 watts of solar on a sliding rail. Um, when it's over top of each other, the top one gets most of the power. So that would be uh, 350 watts. Then expanded, I get 700 watts. Um, it's pretty simple. We 
Let's move these up here. And then I have some bungees that go around the corners to prevent it from coming out when I drive away. I have a WeBoost antenna up here. It's on a, a drop-down hinge. So when we park and we want we want uh, internet, I just pop it up. Now that's our air conditioner on the very top. Uh, this is our water fill. It's an F4. It has a special adapter that goes in there. Okay, so let's go inside. So first stop is our um, DIY shades. They're fit in with magnets. They're triple layer and they're very effective. They're a little bit bulky, but they actually work super good. Okay, in the front cab, it's pretty standard. Um, I'd say the only thing that we did is we made a makeup center for me. And um, so I can put my makeup on um, while we're driving or before the day starts. I have my makeup in here, my brushes in here. The side door, I have reading material and crossword puzzles. And then down this deep drawer down here, that's where I keep my yarn. We did modify these uh, cup, cup holders so that they would fit the bigger bottles. And so what we had to do is this one is one that wasn't modified and see how they have these little bumps here. All we did is we cut them out and these fit in there just like that now. So before it was like they would not fit. So now it's great. So these are our factory swivel chairs. This is our eating area. So right here we have a lagoon mount. And then uh, below my feet, I we have the um, the arm that goes across there. Get that out. It has its own little handy compartment. Goes on like so. Tighten that guy. And then the sink cover is a sink cover, and it's our table. And this is made out of epoxy that Rob actually epoxied it, and it turned out really nice. It's beautiful. Um, I love it. And so sitting here, um, we can eat our meal. And then if we need extra space, we can pull this drop down table up. And um, it works really well. I have plenty of space and so does he. And we, this is where we, we sit down and eat. So here we have a 24 inch sink. It's a 24 by 19 by 10 inches deep. Got it off of Amazon. It has a strainer and a grate in the bottom. Uh, this is our faucet we bought from Home Depot. This is our Breville, Breville Bambino. This is our national park map, so it has all the national parks. This is a paper towel holder with a friction. Up here we store um, coffee goods, dry goods, and just miscellaneous items. This is our power timer for the hot water heater, so we turn this on to 20 minutes and then it shuts off lights, water pump. Down below here is where our hot water heater resides. It's a four gallon Bosch and then we also have some other appliances and our filter system. It's a two, two stage filter. So over here we have my two burner induction cooktop and uh, we have my spices all tucked away. We screw down. Up here I have a place for my canned goods. Uh, we have uh, plastic forks and spoons and the napkins. This is the control for the Max Air Fan. Um, and then in the drawers, we have all of our uh, utensils that we use on day to day. And then I have these nesting pans that are induction um, compatible. So I have all of these pots, and here's the handles, <laughs> have all of these pots that fit basically inside of this, this one and it makes a nice little bundle inside my drawer. It takes up just a, a fraction of the room that it would normally.
Okay, so the kitchen is super convenient. It's really easy to make meals in here. I um, love it. And when this is extended and the table is out, we actually have a U-shaped kitchen in here. And um, I think it's easier to make meals in this kitchen than it is at home because it's so tight and everything is exactly where I need it and I can just grab whatever I need. Over here we have a cubby and I have my paper plates up here. I have this these um, items here which go into the um, Breville Combi Wave. Um, it's actually a three-in-one cooker. It has um, an oven, microwave, and air fryer all built into one. It has a soft close. So this is our DIY wine rack that Rob made out of PVC pipe <laughs> and it works really well. And down here, is actually where I keep the wine glasses. And the refrigerator is quite large. Um, we have a really nice size freezer in here. It's a 4.3 cubic foot um, refrigerator. Um, it doesn't have much in it because we're just out here for the day. And then we have the pantries. And on this side, I keep our baked goods. Things for baking mostly. There's a few other things. And this is an extra storage. We have some um, exercise rubber bands and a car tire jack. This is another storage pantry. Canned goods, oils, pasta, snacks. And then on down here, we actually have a broom closet, y'all. Okay, so here's our broom handle. Or broom it goes together like this so we can sweep up a so it, right here we have our shower um, it has an on and off on the handle um, it has uh, 3d printed holders for um, our shampoo and soaps this is uh, 3D printed as well, and this holds our vinegar and water spray for the toilet. This is an airhead toilet. This is a um, trash can. Um, we also have the Nautilus self-cleaning door. This also has a clothesline for wet towels. It has a light in there. We used um, marble looking tiles that are waterproof. They work really well. Um, we have our basement and that's where we keep our tools. And that's um, where the Wabasto is. This is where our um, heater is, which is the um, type of heater that sips gas from your gas tank. And then up here is our attic. And this is where we just keep our hats and stuff like that. And we have our television uh, set up here. We have a screen and, um, and a Nebula capsule too. Okay, so this is the um, induction cover that Rob made out of a, uh, it's actually made out of a stair tread. And it makes a really good cutting board, a nice hard surface. Um, but it also has, you know, I think you guys saw it as a table out front when we were sitting out there. So we, he made a table for it so we can have it outside. But also when I'm cooking, I, all I do is I just take this and um, I set it upwards and it has a Velcro there and then this right here and that holds it up so I don't get grease all over my door. So that is uh, really handy and it's very tightly stuck there. Okay. Okay, so you guys, I'm really excited about this. We're utilizing the, the cubby that um, is naturally in the door, um, but it's very hard to use. So what he did is he 3D printed all of this material here to cover the raw edges. 
And what we're using it for is to, um, this is my foil, my saran wrap, and my parchment paper. And so I have access to this and I can just cut it off when I need it. Um, these are my small bags. These are my large freezer bags. And in here are the, the bags that you get from the grocery store. And so I have really easy access to those and it's just wonderful because all of that takes up a lot of space in your drawers and if you want your drawers to look nice and neat you want to like have everything have its own little compartment so also we did opt to get the arctic turn windows and um, they have the shade mode they have the sh um, the screen mode and then you can also open these up and let air fresh air in and they can go all the way extended or they can go, you know, as, as low as you want it to be. And um, these are awesome. <laughs> and this is acrylic. There we go. So this is our TV. This is a 42 inch projection screen TV. Um, we have Prime, YouTube. Uh, Cinemax, Showtime, or Cinemax and HBO because of our phones. And then there's some other apps we can do. Uh, the projector is a Nebula 2 capsule. That's right there. So it's angled down. I have a little adapter plate in there. And then it just hangs by these little 3D printed hooks. And those just fit right into the edge of the screen. So that's how it hangs there. So right here is our bed area and um, we have plenty of head space. Um, we do have two his and hers compartments for, you know, just our toiletries. Um, I have my blow dryer and some lotions and vitamins and that sort of thing. Um, against the back wall, we have two bookshelves with a little plant holder. We do actually have lights that are dimmable and they turn on and off from here. We have electrical USB ports and we also have access to the Wabasto um, heater system here. So we can turn it on before we get out of bed and warm up the cab if it's cold. We have his and hers. Uh, you know cabinets for our clothing we have everything in the packing cubes and it works really good it's very organized his is a lot less stuff in it than mine but that's okay this is our air conditioner which is very important when we're in hot weather it does cool down this whole bed area and we can actually close these side cabinets that he built that are pantry and it holds in the air so that we don't lose all the air conditioning in the cab we also have the back screens which um, we haven't completely finished yet but they are actually very effective and we can open up the back doors and can look outside and have all that cross ventilation okay and this is a blanket that i uh, crocheted while we we're on the road we also have storage under the bed and what we have is our sketching pads here we have a tablet and over here that's where we keep our packing cubes and it's actually a really large deep pocket in there and we have room for more stuff we have a new step we had one that um, actually was really cool but it didn't um, it didn't hold up and so we have this collapsing uh, step that um, really perfect and then here um, we have a, I think a very unique feature to the van it's our first aid kit so we took a first aid kit that we got from Walmart and we made custom little compartments and they fit right in here and then we don't have to have that big case taking up room in our in our um, above cabinets well I hope you enjoyed our van tour if you did I hope you will subscribe to our channel Red Giant Van, and uh, we'll see you out on the road.